Hi guys, it's me, Glennie, here with my little boy, Rico, and today we're going to show you how to bathe your dog at home until this stay at home mandate is lifted. I've gotten um, a lot of requests and questions on Instagram and Facebook on how to bathe and groom your dogs um, at home without a groomer. So today we're gonna show you just that. And I'm using Rico because this applies mostly to small dog owners out there because you can bathe your dog in the tub, you can bathe them in a sink. Your big dogs, it's a little more challenging um, because they don't really fit in these places. So today I'm going to demonstrate on little dogs like Rico. So you have your doggy ready in your sink or your tub and um, you wanna have a towel handy to dry them. You wanna have your shampoo. Uh, Rico uses a, a Pharmacept shampoo because he has a little bit of skin issues. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. I have a little cloth, which I'm gonna show you what to do with later. And I have cotton balls for the ear cleaning. Now, today I don't have my professional ear cleaner for dogs, um, but you can simply use warm water. And I, instead of the cotton ball, since you're going to use them with warm water, I would recommend the warm cloth. And I'm gonna show you how to do that later. So we're, and I have this bucket here too, because Rico is used to anything right now. He's a little bit of a little chicken once in a while, but if your dog tolerates the water stream, you can go ahead and bathe your dog with a regular water pressure. And if not, you can have a bucket with a little cup and bathe your dog like this as well. I recommend this for dogs that are really nervous and scared so that you don't traumatize them and are still able to bathe them when they're really stinky. So that's an option. You guys already know what to do next, but for those of you who don't, you want to go ahead and lather up your puppy. You could usually you want to start off with the face and try to avoid the nose and the eyes from the shampoo to getting in there. You work yourself down from the neck to the body. Typically for really dirty dogs, I like to do two scrubs. So I'll do one to loosen up all the dirt and all the dandruff and all the nasty stuff on them. You go ahead and rinse that off. It doesn't have to be a full rinse because you're gonna go ahead and lather a second time. And this is gonna be your final lather, which is gonna take out the whatever particles and dust and nasty stuff was left. With the legs, you wanna be careful not to hold them in the wrong angles. Typically dog legs move front and back and that's how you want to provide support for your dog as well because dogs don't like to feel unbalanced. And a lot of the times that doggies fight back and try to get away is because they're trying to regain their balance. So if you've seen my other grooming videos in my shop, I always, while grooming, have a hand under my dog's rib cage or behind like this because it just makes it easier to get the job done with, without the dog freaking out or having a panic attack because they feel like they can't hold themselves up. And you can see him, he's nice and calm. Some puppies, this won't be the case and you will only be able to do what the dog allows you to do, but a little bit is better than nothing. <laughs> so now we're gonna go ahead and rinse again and try to use warm water nice warm water this will help your dog feel a lot more comfortable as well i mean think about how you feel when you know you're struck with ice cold water in the shower you think it's going to come out nice and warm but then you're you're hit with this ice cube you don't like it they don't like it either so make sure you want to lift your head up lift the head up so you can avoid the nose Try to avoid the water from going in the ears too. I like to hold the little ears down, press them down, block the water from the ears, and just rinse that way. And then you wanna tackle the areas that are more prone to hold soap. 
and that's under the chest, the armpit, in between the legs, mainly the undercarriage of the dog. You wanna make sure you rinse that well because if you leave excess soap, that's gonna cause itching and irritation later on your dog's skin. So now that I know that Rico is completely rinsed off and there's no soap residue, I'm gonna go ahead, shut the water, I'm gonna hold him here, 